What's going on guys? This is a quick little review of the brand new Stratosphere, essentially V2, with the Ultra Black playing cards by Legends Playing Card Co. Uh, I think there was a lot of hype around these, and so I just want to do a quick little review while I have these in hand, just so you guys can get all the details of this awesome holographic deck. And of course, the, uh, the really interesting thing here is going to be the brand new cardstock that Legends has printed this on, which is going to be their trademarked Ultra Black cardstock, which is supposed to be, uh, you know, all black on the inside, which prevents the dreaded, you know, white chipping and edges that we see on black bordered cards. So we'll touch base on that during the review, but here you can see the outside box is pretty much the same as the original V1, uh, the original blue Stratosphere deck that came out. Uh, not too long ago. So yeah, we got a very nice looking tuck case here. Very nice and shiny and bright. And uh, that's going to be the tuck case. Let's jump right into this. Let's open here. Let's see, we got some holographic foil here on the inside flap. And then... And it's a very snug fit here, by the way. It's a little bit snug getting these cards out. It is a nice snug fit. We do have a nice black interior tuck box. And then I will turn my flash on just so you can see everything on the inside of this box. Here we have a little uh, altitude reading here. And then it's hard to see, but all the way there at the bottom, it basically starts with the toposphere. And then it comes up. You know, we've got the kilometers, we've got the miles. It comes all the way up here to the 30 mile reading, and we get the uh, stratosphere. After that, we get the uh, mesosphere. It goes all the way up. So, cool little uh, infographic here on the inside of the tuck case, also done in holographic foil. And then moving on to the card backs, we get, which I think is essentially the same as the original Stratosphere deck. I don't own the original Stratosphere deck, unfortunately I missed out on, uh, on getting those, so I'm just going off of pictures and what I see online, but it's pretty much the same, I believe, back design, uh, really nice holographic, super shiny as you can see absolutely gorgeous back design with lots and lots of holographic foil really really shines and this is uh, printed on their laminated mylar foiling according to uh, the website which is how you get that really nice shiny foil so that's gonna be the back design uh, it looks really nice in a fan clearly you can see that um, oh, I should also talk about the actual edges of the cards because that's part of the reason why we're here, right? Or at least a big, maybe a big chunk of it, actually. Um, but you can see here the edges are not white like you normally get with a standard deck of cards. It has this very darkish gray charcoal color. It's not exactly like black black because this is like black black, right? But it's pretty close. Um, and I have been playing around with this deck a little bit, been farrowing it, shuffling it springing it and uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of wear or maybe that's just how the, the deck is supposed to look um, but you can see so far it looks pretty good pretty good there's not any chipping there's no white looks pretty good so far I have seen some pictures online some people that posted where through some heavier use you might see where it looks like grayish or maybe even like silver coming through once you use heavy use but it looks a lot better than the white chipping that you know you usually get with these black bordered decks. I've only played around with it for a day or so so far, but it's held up pretty well. Looks pretty good so far. So that is the side. Go ahead and move on to the card faces. Uh, we get one Joker here. We get like a rocket shooting off into space with all the uh, stars and galaxies and planets and things. And then we have another one with a weather balloon. Also done with some nice uh, silver foil there on the front of both. So nice little touch on the jokers. Get two custom jokers. And then we get the ace of spades. And it also is done in uh, this nice silver metallic foil. And it says stratosphere going across the middle. So this is nice and shiny. And then you'll notice that the blacks, they are actually pretty hard to read. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad on camera, but it's, it definitely looks a lot darker in person when you don't have like these really shiny bright lights shining on them. 
Um, you can see like the spades. They are dark. It's like, it's like a nice dark gray on black background. And so it is harder to see the blacks, I would say. Uh, fairly difficult if you're doing this in like low light or maybe just plain light during the day. I had a lot of trouble just kind of seeing these up close, trying to differentiate the spades from the clubs, especially with the, uh, the really small indexes and pips in the corners. So pretty hard to differentiate the blacks and even the reds too, right? So you get the diamonds and the hearts, but since they're so small, the pips in the corners, they are pretty hard to differentiate each other if you're trying to quickly do that during a game. Uh, during like a card game or something so something to point out but those are going to be the spades and then here we get to the court cards the jack the queen and then the king and what is nice about these is you do get nice full foil fronts and so you can see there's certain aspects here on these courts um, part of their suits their visors and the background, like the planets even, they will shine with this nice silver foil on the front. Just a nice little touch, very, very cool, and they do look nice, but they do look very, very dark otherwise. If you're not looking at the court cards, the diamonds and in the hearts, they do have foil on the front. A little harder to see, but they do have this nice shiny coating to them, I would say. You can see the, uh, the the red pips, they do have this nice shine to them because they do have uh, this foil on them as well. And I think that's a little bit more evident here on the court cards as well. Again, you got the silver foil in the background and on their suits. And then we've got the pips that really, really pop. Coming to the club, I do want to mention really quickly too that the deck came in a really strange order it was not new deck order you know not u.s new deck order it wasn't like european new deck order it wasn't mnemonica it was just this really weird uh order where i had to go through and just reorganize all the cards into you know u.s pcc new deck order but something that i did want to point out and then again here you can see the clubs they they i have to say they do look better on camera but in person, looking at these clubs, they are very, very dark, and it's hard to see, especially with the small corner pips. Here are the hearts, the heart courts. I do like the courts, they look a little cool, but they do stand out um, from the color cards really, really well, just because they have like this orangish outline. So if I'm like fanning through these, you'll really see that the court cards stand out because the only ones that even have that outline or even any orange on them so the court cards do really stand out they are very unique but other than that the number cards are pretty much standard uh, standard fit placement and nothing too unusual about them other than the fact that they are foiled as well so those are the faces and then coming to the stock itself uh, I actually found the stock pretty pretty good. It fanned for me really good right out of the box. Nice even fans. And then dribble and spring, they feel really soft as well. So they almost feel like a like a crushed stock, like a bicycle USPCC crushed stock. Um, they feel really, really soft. Not quite as like cardamundi soft, but pretty soft. Pretty soft. I'm surprised because usually when you get like these full foiled, you know, front and back decks like this, uh, especially with like Expert Playing Card Co., which is one of the more common full foiled front and back decks, you will get really, really thick, clunky, stiff stock that just feels really, really tough, and it, you can't handle it. You can't spring it. You can't dribble it. Or you know, just it just takes so much effort to do all those things. But here it's really, really nice because they just it just comes right off the hands and it's really soft and has no issues fanning whatsoever. So I actually really like the stock. It does feel really, really good. So really nice bonus there on the stock. And then supposedly because the way that they uh, manufactured this, it's supposed to be like water resistant as well, or at least more water resistant than your normal paper stock because it's laminated on both sides. Uh, the, you know, the way that this ultra black stock is made. 
So something to uh, point out there, which is a nice little bonus feature. It's always nice when you can get your cards water resistant. Um, oh, and then I also want to mention that it is traditionally cut. I did uh, figure that out when I was playing with this earlier. So you can see from top down, it does go bottom to top. So nice traditionally cut. I do like the fact that it's traditionally cut. And then it does a giant fan nice and evenly as well. So really nice stock, really like it. Um, I'll have to just kind of see how this holds up over time. Just based on some of the pictures that I've seen online, it, it does seem like it does wear out eventually, but it doesn't, you know, show wear as bad as the normal stock. But uh, all in all, I would say this is a nice deck for cardistry, for card fans, things like that. I would not recommend using this for like card games, um, just so you can, you can see how dark it is, like trying to differentiate between clubs and spades right now. Super, super difficult. Just got the dark gray on black background. And then even trying to differentiate between the hearts and the diamonds, again, because of the you know super small pips, it becomes very, very difficult to do so, especially if you need to do so quickly in a card game. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's gonna be the uh, quick little review here for the Stratosphere Ultra Black Stock by Legends Playing Card Co. This was a limited edition print run of 600. So pretty small print run when you only have 600. Make sure you guys go pick these up when you can. I don't think you guys will dis be disappointed, especially if you guys love that holographic foil just because of how nice it looks. And it definitely looks nice and attractive. So. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for me, guys. That is the deck review. That is the Stratosphere Ultra Black cardstock by Legends Playing Card Co. Limited to 600. Hope you guys enjoyed this review video. If you did, please make sure you guys like, comment, share this with your friends. That's it for me, guys. Hope you guys are staying safe. And until next time, hope to see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys are staying safe. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.